sausage roll, if you do it properly, it could be one of those family favorite, centerpiece, middle of the table, even a replacement for your Sunday roast. Starts off with 500 grams of pork mince into a bowl. Then here, we've got 400 grams of sausages. Now these sausages, I've actually peeled and just taken the skin off, okay? So you can break them up. We're gonna kind of mash it all together. Now one of the nicest things about sausage rolls is the kind of flavorings and the seasonings that go with it. So into it, I've got some onion here. Now this is one single onion that's just been diced, cooked, sweated down, and then just started to get a little bit of caramelization and color on it. But I have left it to cool, all right? Now into that, I've got some diced bacon. Now this is smoked streaky bacon and the flavor is amazing, but you don't want too much of it, okay? You want it to be a sausage roll, not a bacon roll. I'm gonna put two large teaspoons of English mustard, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, it's half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, okay? Little bit of spice, little bit of heat, pinch of cracked black pepper, and a good pinch of salt. And then the next thing that goes in, chicken gravy granules. And then the next thing that goes in, some sage. A sage, onion, and sausage is that perfect combination. And then kind of work it all together. Mix it all in, that mustard, the bacon, the seasonings. And don't be shy of working it together. Use this as an excuse to not go to the gym, all right? The salt draws all the proteins out from the meat and it helps bind it all. It's gonna create a tighter sausage. If you want to, get your hand in and you start working it around and knead it a little bit as if it's bread. And you feel everything get a little tighter and it starts to form a ball like that there. Right then, at this point, we need to firm it up in the fridge, but in the shape that we're gonna cook it in. So, get your cling film, put it onto a board, and get your sausage mix and shape it into a large sausage, all the way to full width of the cling film. And you just, bring it together, and you roll it. Don't worry about using loads of cling film. I've got shares in a cling film factory, so the more you use, the richer I'll get. And then, just roll the ends, and you're left with ready to chill sausage mix. It's gonna go in the fridge, gonna leave it for about an hour just to firm up. So after an hour, you've got your sausage roll mix. We're gonna need to wrap it in our puff pastry. Now here is some pre-rolled, ready-made, Puff pastry, just with a pinch of flour, dust your board, put the pastry on, and the sausage, we're gonna cut in half. We're gonna make two sausage rolls here, okay? And stick it into the puff pastry. And then, I'm gonna crack and separate four eggs, okay? So I want the yolks, because it's the yolks that are the important part. I'm gonna use them to make a wonderful, rich, fantastic glaze to go on the top of it. And just take your sausage in the pastry, and you work out kind of where it's going to go. Just give an egg wash at the one edge, okay? Roll, sausage roll onto the top. And just with your hand, tuck it in so it's nice and tight. Dust the pastry with a bit of flour, then the fork, push down just to get a seal between the puff pastry on the top and the puff pastry on the bottom. You let those egg yolks do their magic like glue and stick together, just making sure that your sausage roll is sealed. And then with your knife, just trim and sharpen that line up so it's nice, sharp and crisp. And then either end of the sausage roll cut through Feel to where the sausage is gone. Dust off any excess flour and stick the sausage roll onto a tray and do the next one. So now you have two sausage rolls ready to go. But at this point, we want to give them a lovely glaze, okay? I'm going to use that egg yolk and just kind of brush it in. You kind of keep working it as well. Don't be shy. You just got to gently brush it into everything. Let that pastry absorb it. Let the flour 
start mixing with the yolk. It's like putting a foundation layer when you're painting your house, okay? This is the bit that's really important. So it's quite a thick glaze onto a tray lined with baking parchment. Then with a sharp knife, let's do some little nicks on the top. And you could put whatever you want on the top. Any kind of seasoning. I'm gonna use just a little pinch of salt. And then this, this is fresh thyme, okay? So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of these leaves on the top. You can just pull them just off the stalks. I'm gonna stick this into an oven. It's at 200 degrees centigrade for half an hour. See you then. Okay, my sausage rolls have been cooking for half an hour at 200 degrees and they look lush. They're beautiful, going golden. But I don't want that puff pastry to overcook, all right? I don't want it to burn. I just want it to caramelize and go a nice, rich, dark, golden color. I'm gonna turn the oven down to 180, and I'm gonna continue cooking those for a further 20 minutes. Sausage rolls have had an extra 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Look. I mean, they're proper centerpiece. They are incredible looking. And just at this point, I'm gonna lift them up, put them onto a rack to cool. That is our amazing, super special, wonderfully tasty, not very expensive sausage rolls made. Would be a great replacement for a Sunday lunch. Not every Sunday, but every now and then, that could definitely become a family favorite.